Okay, so this is Zomato. I have made sixteen uh, percent on this stock, but I have not sold the full position. I will explain to you this full trade. I have kept some shares, sold some shares. I made sixteen percent on the shares that I have sold. But let us first get back to the basics. Why did I buy the stock in the first place? So first, let me remove these lines. I will explain what those lines are. Okay. Let me first show you where I bought the stock. Yeah, so this is the base. As you can see, the stock is going up. The fifty day, the one fifty day, and the two hundred day. The blue, the green, and the red. The fifty day simple moving average is above the one fifty day simple moving average, which is above the two hundred day simple moving average. It's the basic criteria that I look for: the blue, the green, and the red. The second criteria I look for is the base itself. How many candles are there in the base? So the base starts from this candle. So I start counting from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I am looking for minimum ten candles. So here you have eleven. So fantastic. Ten candles means means minimum two weeks of consolidation. That's what I am looking for, and I get that here. so blue green red and 10 candles and what about the points what about the contractions in the base so let me draw those for you so this is point 1 this is point 2 this is point 3 and this is point 4 so there are four points in the base or two contractions or two compressions in the base i am looking for minimum four points in the base the higher the better so that's why now i can set my buy price at point number 3 that's where the yellow line comes from and another thing to notice here is the mother baby candle combination here so the range of this candle is entirely within the range of the previous candle in us they call it inside bar but in japanese candlesticks terminology this is called as the mother baby candle combination okay so basic criteria the blue green red the 10 candles the four points and the mother baby candle combination the mother baby candle combination is criteria is optional it's not mandatory but uh, if it is there it is fantastic the chances of uh, the stock breaking out are higher if there is a mother baby candle combination this represents contraction in the price okay so these are the reasons why i decided to put my buy order at the yellow line and i decided that i will put 2.5% position size now another thing i want you to notice here is you look at this base the the green zone is the upper quarter of the base so i have divided the base into four quarters the green zone is the upper quarter the blue zone is the second quarter and the red zone is the lower half of the base which is the lower two quarters i don't look at the lower red zone at all i want my buy point either to be in the blue zone or in the green zone if the buy point is in the blue zone i prefer to have at least 6 points in the base okay so i want more contractions if the buy point is in the green zone and there is good price action in the green zone i am okay with 4 points in the base okay because when the price enters the green zone especially like this see there are Uh, three closes in the upper half or the upper quarter of the base that's a, a good stock that's a good setup i can choose to hold this stock for a longer move okay so since this is in the green zone i don't demand too many points or contractions in the base four points are enough so that's why i put the order so let's see what happens next let me adjust this yeah so next day it triggers my order i get filled in my order gets filled and you see good volume coming in not great price action the stock went up only 2% but look at the volume here twice the average daily volume almost or i would say more than twice the average daily volume okay that's a good sign that the stock is showing strength here okay although the upper shadow bothers me so i decide so i decide that instead of selling some shares there and booking that 2% profit uh, why not give it one more day 
okay and let's see what happens now i did not know that the next day was an earnings day okay i i was not looking at the fundamentals at all if i had been looking at the fundamentals probably i would have cut my position by half because holding a stock when the next day is in earnings and you just bought the stock okay there is a good chance that there might be a falling window okay so uh, i would have reduced my position there just to control my risk but but basically i don't give much importance to the fundamentals my main uh, uh, what do you say expertise is in technicals okay so i look at technical so i was not looking at the uh, earnings date of this stock and next day came that surprise suddenly the stock shot up with a rising window went up 12% in fact it went up 17 18% and then it dropped back and closed 12% above the previous day close so i said what happened so i checked that there was the earnings announcement there so and look at the volume here the volume is it's like what six six seven times eight times uh, more than the average daily volume that's what you are looking for like that's a real breakout okay now the same thing can happen on the downside instead of a rising window you could get a falling window so i'm just saying just be cautious if if you buy a stock and immediately there is earnings announcement you are sitting on huge risk but if you buy a stock and if you are holding it for 2 3 weeks and then there is some earning announcement then you have a sufficient cushion right at that time you don't need to worry too much about the fundamentals but at the moment of buying if there is some event happening major event happening you just need to be cautious i am not saying sell all the shares i am saying saying at least sell half or maybe 25% because you are sitting on huge risk okay but anyways the stock shot up 12% now my mental stop loss is the rising window okay which is the high of this candle which is 238 so that's where the blue line comes from so 238 what do i mean by mental stop loss mental stop loss means if the price closes below this blue line i will sell all my shares okay this is not my actual stop loss which i put in my broking platform in my broking platform my actual stop loss is 8% below this yellow line which is let me calculate 231.20 multiplied by 0.92 that's 212.70 so let's put a stop loss here 212.70 so that's my initial stop loss when i enter into the trail so 8% is a sufficient stop loss with a 2.5% position size so total 0.2% of my portfolio is at risk here which is not a big deal right 2.5% multiplied by 8% however now my goal is since i get good price action here my goal is to neutralize the trade my goal is to de-risk the trade my goal is to eliminate the risk of this trade okay let me explain what i am talking about here when i buy this stock the moment i buy i am taking on risk agreed so how do i eliminate that risk so what i do is as the price is going up here the moment it reaches 16% what i do is i sell 25% of my shares now let's assume let's talk numbers here okay let's say i buy 100 shares here okay out of 100 the moment it reaches 16% which is somewhere here right somewhere here there is 16% level let's see where it where it comes from the yellow line you see 16% is somewhere here 268 okay so let's this is 16% okay so out of 100 shares i sell 25 shares here now tell me one thing if a stock has gone up 16% and you sell 25% of your shares that means you are booking 25% of 16% gain which means what you are booking 4% which is 25% of 16% so you already booked 4% profit okay now what you can do is on the remaining 75% 75 shares you could move the stop loss to a level 
say for example here where the loss here is equal to the profit that you made here so basically the formula is 25% multiplied by 16% which is the 4% should be equal to 75% multiplied by the new stop loss whatever this distance is okay so you can back calculate that distance okay so in this case it is roughly 4 or 5% 5% roughly here so basically what i am saying is the profit that i have made on 25% of my shares if i can equate it to the loss that i would incur on the remaining 75 shares if they come down where should my stop loss level be obviously it can't be at 8% i have to move it up right so the profit that i make on 25 shares if it is equal to the loss that i incur on the remaining 75 shares that means i have neutralized the trade which means even if this stock comes down and completely hits my red line my net profit is zero my net loss is zero so it's a no loss no profit trade so basically by moving my stop loss up and selling 25% of my shares what i have done is i have limited my downside to zero okay so if if all hell breaks loose if it comes down my my profit and my loss neutralize each other my downside is zero but wait what is my upside here i still have 75 shares okay what's my upside here by the way this this is the current candle the market is live right now okay i have not sold the remaining 75 shares i am just showing you that i am holding on to that uh, stock and by the way this is not recommendation or anything don't buy just because i have bought it uh, virtually if you buy a stock based on recommendation from anyone it is almost always going to be the wrong price so please understand that this is not a recommendation i am just showing you how i am approaching this trade so learn from this uh, material don't just copy because you are not learning anything when you are just copying okay so i still hold 75% of the shares now my downside on this 75% of shares is 0% and my upside is unlimited in the stock okay that's the situation i want to be in every position i take now i could choose to ride this stock let's say the purple line purple line is the 21 day exponential moving average the blue line is the 50 day exponential 50 day simple moving average i could choose to remain in this stock without selling a single share out of my outstanding 75% of the shares i could remain in the stock till it remains above the purple line and the blue line the 21 day exponential and the 50 day simple moving average and it could be months or weeks before this stock actually closes below one of these two lines so i get that entire gain of course the stock will dance in between it might come down it might test the window it might do a lot of things okay but if i can maintain that patience if i can hold on to this position for that long till it closes below there is a good chance that, that i could make a good i could catch a big move here so so catching a big move is a tricky thing it's not as easy as it looks on the chart first you have to buy correctly second you have to manage the risk you have to neutralize the risk once you have done those two things only then you could choose to ride a stock just because you look at a stock in hindsight on a chart doesn't mean that you could have ridden the stock or you, you might look at a chart and say oh if i had bought at that price i would have gained the, gained this much no it is not that easy in hindsight everything looks great but when it comes to practically buying a stock and riding a trend you have to ensure that all the ducks line up in a row what which is exactly what i have done here okay so i have my mental stop loss this is my mental stop loss the moving averages those are also my mental stop loss and this is my hard stop loss this red line is something which i have put in my broking account that's my ultimate red line if the stock touches that line not even drops even if it touches the line i am out of the i am out of this thing okay so please try to understand the approach that i have taken here i have covered a lot of concepts in this video how to buy a stock what do i look for what do i don't look for how do i de risk a trade 
how do i manage the trade risk management position sizing stop loss movement everything i have covered in this video so please watch this video again and again maybe two time two times maybe three times there might be something that i have said in this video which you might want to listen to again so that it you know it gets cemented in your brain okay so let me know if you have any questions i still have this position i would make more videos as this position develops i would make more videos on on the same stock but so far so good it's doing well yesterday it could not go up yesterday the japanese stock market crashed 12% i am talking index i am not talking stocks okay the japanese stock markets crashed the global markets all over the world they all crashed but look at this it held up it didn't crash much it went went down only 2.31% so that is what i call a relative strength when all the all hell breaks loose in the world if your stock doesn't fall below that rising window that means there is a strength so it gives you that clue the market gives you the clue that you could hang in there okay you could stay in the stock one more thing i want to mention here is if you look at the weekly look at this look at this weekly chart okay this is the ipo okay it it has taken a long time it has taken multiple weeks for the stock to break this this level and finally when it has broken that level now it has started its upward journey okay this spike probably would have been the uh, sorry sorry the election day uh, in india the general elections but it has it has taken multiple weeks months for the stock to break this level and once it breaks that level there is good upside potential in the stock so this is a very long term chart but coming back to the daily my focus is the daily chart my expertise is the daily chart this is how i am approaching the trade right now it is showing good relative strength and i will hang in there okay so if you have any questions just let me know i hope you liked this discussion on the stock if you like the content that i create please support this channel so that this video reaches to those people who are similar or like minded to you and they also want to learn how to take swing trading positions like this so when you like or comment on the video you know it it helps me get the video to a lot of people it helps me serve a lot of people because i am here to help so let me know if you have any questions thank you so much